Welcome. Today we're going to talk about exploring the mean with the Desmos Make It Balance activity. On slide number four, we were told to find the balance point. And you can do this by experimenting, but for more complicated ones, you can also do it by calculating the mean. The mean of 1, 8, and 9 is found by adding 1 plus 8 plus 9 and then dividing by 3 because there are three data items and we get 6. Uh, so the bears will be balanced with 6. This really helps you visualize what it means for 6 to be the mean. The mean is at the center of our data. The center meaning the balance point so that for every data item that's above the mean, we have data that's below the mean to balance it out. This can be a really powerful tool to help you understand GPA. Imagine you're trying to achieve a GPA of 2.0, which is what you need to graduate, and you have an F in a class. There are a couple of ways that you can balance out that F. One way that's very easy to visualize is you could get an A. If you got an A on your report card, then you have a zero and a four, which adds up to four. And with two grades, we divide by two, and we find that our GPA for those two classes equals a 2.0. So the A can balance out the F. There's a second way that we could try to balance out that F. And that would be um, to get two Bs. The reason for that being zero plus three plus three equals six, and six divided by the three classes now equals a two. So again, we've found two ways that we can balance out an F, either by getting one A or by getting two Bs. Thanks for watching, and remember, the mean is in the middle of your data, and every data item below the mean is balanced by a corresponding data item above the mean. Have a great day.